first of all, pumpkin pie is really good. I love pumpkin pie. <laughs> don't be knocking the oh, pumpkin pie. The show, huh? <laughs> I don't know what pumpkin pie you're eating, but pumpkin pie is an imitation of a sweet potato pie. <laughs> it's like when the guys go to the club <laughs> and they see this beautiful what looked like a woman, and they take it home. And when they get home, it ain't a woman. That's how a pumpkin pie is. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a sweet potato pie, it's a pumpkin pie. No, I don't like, it just, eh. <laughs> well, are, you getting it, are you getting it from the store or is somebody making it for you? I'm sorry? Are you getting it from the store or is somebody actually baking it for you? Because, well, I mean, store-bought stuff is a lot different than no, somebody making it. No, most of the pumpkin pies I eat are homemade. Really? Yeah. Oh. Those, I mean, you know, to each his own, but it sure. just look syrupy and it look beta. <laughs> <laughs> but my question my question for yes. you is um my second time here yes uh, my daughter she's 13 years old i got a text from my ex-wife telling me that uh she's having some 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 problems i guess and so i'm she's real quiet she doesn't really talk too much you know all these kids are in their cell phones and stuff like that i kind of i kind of just let her be for the most part and uh so I kind of talked to my daughter. She doesn't really have a lot of kind words for my ex-wife. And so when I expressed that maybe she has some resentment because she was of the age where she remembered my ex, you know, sleeping with other men while we were still married. Yeah. And so um, she's, she's remarried now. And so the kids had to experience all that. That's unfortunate. And so I said, you know what? I kind of feel like maybe she has some resentment towards you. And she, she fired back at me saying that, Oh, nice try. No, it's not that. You know, she's been off her medication because she had ADHD. And I said, no, she doesn't need medication. I said, maybe she needs some counseling and stuff like that. Maybe you need to talk to her. And then I said, I only get 33% of the time. I said, I'm not with her 50% of the time. Right. You know, I'd love to be more a part of her life, but just because California and judges and stuff, they just will not give it to the man. And uh, so with that being said, um, I just, I, uh, I went to my son's baseball game. My daughter was there. She never even acknowledged me that I was even there, never even said hello. I'm just, I don't want to get beta about it, you know what I mean? I want to remain the alpha in the whole situation. I just want to kind of see what your thoughts are as far as approaching her, or maybe even approaching the situation. How are you, are you, are you living right now? Are you right yourself? I've been doing the silent prayer. I'm, I'm, I'm rebuilding myself. Are you living with another woman? No, I'm not. So you're not dating anything? I, they've never seen me with another woman. Oh, good, man. Yeah. Um, and so even though they haven't seen it, you're with one, are you with another woman? Not currently, no. I'm not talking about today. She's not here. Mm -hmm. But are you with another woman? No. Not, no. Something wrong with this answer. <laughs> well, I mean, the girl comes Isn't and goes. Something wrong with this answer? <laughs> no, she comes and goes. Like, I mean, you know, when she's around, she's around. And if she's not, she's not. But it's so never you are around seeing someone. You, said, you guys are just off and on, right? Kind of, yeah, there's no, no commitment there. Okay. You shouldn't be with anyone at that point. Okay. Because the kids need to see you, at least one of the parents being right and living right and mm -hmm. doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Because they're not getting love from either one of you if you're not right. Because God is not working through you. And so you need to get yourself together. Mm -hmm. And love was right with all your heart and soul and might and be that. So when your daughter do see you, she will see the light in you and that will help her. And uh, when you see her, you see the right words to say to her, you know, don't be angry. I'm sorry for what we did. We've been wrong. And, you know, you have to drop the anger. You have the right words to say, but you got to be right. And that's something I used to not know. I didn't know you had to be right in order to do right. You just can't do right unless you are right yourself. And so you need to get yourself together and then God will guide you what to do. Okay. But if you're not right, because even if they don't see you with this woman, it's spirit to spirit. So whatever you are is what they will become. Mm -hmm. So you need to be right. Okay. And then uh, you will see how to help your daughter. Mm -hmm. You probably won't be able to help the woman because she just, it doesn't sound like she likes you anymore. So I, I wouldn't bother with her. Mm -hmm. But when you see your daughter, you want to be right. And you have the right words to say to her. And she'll recognize the, the right parent to be with. That makes sense? Yeah. Do you think, though... So uh, you got to adopt this woman. Y okay. That's done. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. It was, I mean, it was just for physical pleasure. It was nothing. See, that, that's not good. Yeah. Because you're not married to this other woman. You got kids. And when you're in that fallen state, you're being cursed for what you're doing. 
Okay. And have you read Deuteronomy uh, 28? Here are the curses and these are the blessings. So whether they see you or not, they're becoming whatever you are. Mm -hmm. So be aware of that. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Is that it? Oh, no. Uh, so but what, uh, as far as the re if she does have resentment, which I think she does. Have you her asked mother, her about it yet? Yeah. You asked your daughter? Yeah, she brings up things about what her mom's done in the past. And I told her, well, Lindsay, you know, I, I, can't, I can't apologize for your mother. No, that's the wrong answer. Just say, hey, don't hate your mother. She can't okay. help you. Okay, all right. Don't hate because you'll become like that. Okay. I've been wrong and your mother okay. is wrong. We'll let you down. Mm -hmm. And so don't resent us for it. Otherwise, you're going to repeat it with your family as well. Mm. All right, don't keep pointing the finger at the mother. Right. Kind of show her now how, how to overcome it. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. Good question, man.